That timing was perfect. Oh my god. Anyway, hi. My chair is a little bit more to the side. On accident. There we go. Hi, guys. Is there a watch time one, too? I think so. Mayhaps. If not, I can mayhaps fix that. I'm gonna... Zero set. What? Streamlabs, I guess, is broken. I'm cosplaying at school tomorrow. Hey, yo! I don't think it's been set. That's okay. That's okay. I'll try to figure that out after stream. Hi, Colin. Hello. Hello. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. You're cosplaying at school tomorrow. That's super cool. Fun fact about about your streamer. Um, before I did game streaming, I did cosplaying on TikTok, and I went by a completely different username. Um, that account is now private because I don't want to associate it with my streams. Um, but yeah, I, yep. <laughs> I actually made uh, one of my really good friends um, through that era of my life. Um, and his name is Atticus and I love him dearly. A year, damn, damn. Jay's an OG. Joy's an OG too, my goodness. Y'all have been following me for way too long. How do you, how do you put up with me? Sorry. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you for the hydrate. I appreciate you. I don't have water. Want to know who I'm cosplaying? Absolutely, I do. Absolutely, I do. I will get water in just a moment, Colin. Don't worry. I will be right back. I'm so sorry. I know I just started stream, but I forgot to grab water and that's kind of necessary. So we'll be right back. Uh Hello. <laughs> You're cosplaying a C Tommy? That's so cool. My favorite kind of cosplays are the ones that like, you can get away with it not looking like, I don't know how to phrase this. Like, by the way, I'm painting so I won't be chatting much, but I'll be popping in every every so often. That's okay. That's okay, Joy. I, I, I do want to see the painting if that is okay. I would love to see the painting. It sounds cool. I like paintings. I like art. Art is very cool. But yes, um, I like cosplays that like could from an outsider's perspective doesn't look like a cosplay. You know what I mean? Like like cosplays that look like casual clothing. And you can get away with people like believing that it's casual clothing, but it is indeed a cosplay. You know what I mean? I really like- I really like outfits like that. Like, um, I cosplayed my characters a lot when I did cosplay. And there's a character, um, that I have named Galena. And I've had her since, like, I was 14. Um, and she's my baby. And she wears a lot of sweat- um, sweaters and leggings. And so- And her hair changes color. Her- her appearance changes, depending on her mood. So I could literally just wear leggings and a sweater to school. And- 
I could be in cosplay. And no one would know. <laughs> it was great. It was my favorite thing. Mine is a closet cosplay. So yeah, I love that though. Closet cosplays are so underrated. Like that's all I did when I did cosplay. Maybe one of these days, like I'll show you guys some of my old cosplay stuff. Would you guys be down for that? We can make that a follower goal or a sub goal. Would you guys be down for that? I'll make it a sub goal because I'd be incredibly embarrassed. Um, <laughs> so let me do that actually. Um, I share my old TikTok vid. Um, no. There. There we go. That's fair. Like a good amount of embarrassment for streamer, but then also it help allows you guys to get to know me better. Pog, I like this. Okay. Let's, I feel like I've been talking too much. I sincerely apologize. Let's, um, hello. There we go. My goodness. I, let's 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 skedaddle on into the stream, shall we? I don't think we need music for this game. So I'm just gonna stop it all together. Recent sub, Fysic. Oh yeah, he was gifted a sub. I forgot about that. Anonymous gifted a sub, and they are very pog, and I appreciate them. Okay, okay, okay. Let us continue wait. I forgot a very crucial step. Oops. How loud is the game for you guys? Is it too loud? Let me... Hello? Can I... There. There. There we go. Let us continue, shall we? We just found... It's one of your favorite games. Yes, it is also one of my favorite games. But I've only seen playthroughs of it. This is the first time I'm, like, actually playing it. So, I'm very excited. Um... Last time we were here, we rescued Mr. Midnight. We rescued him from these ladies. We saved him. He's okay. But now we're stuck on an island that we don't know how to get off. Will I need to look up a tutorial for this? Most likely, because I heard that this puzzle is very difficult. But that's okay. We're doing our bestest. I might cosplay one of my OCs one day named Axel. I love that. I love OCs. Like, like, my favorite part of cosplay and storytelling is, like, character development and character design, so feel free to share some of that with me if you guys feel comfortable. Let's skedaddle on this way. I'm gonna turn the music down in my ears. So that way you guys can hear, but I can't. <laughs> Alright, what do we have? We have a knife. We have... Whatever this is. Hi, Phantom! Hello! Hello! We are back with Franbo. We are back. <gasps> Wait a minute! Baking soda! Could we... Could we... Based off of the logic in this game. Could we put baking soda on the frog? Don't... Don't... Don't use this... In real life. But don't do this in real life, by the way. That will probably hurt the frog. However. Take this, Toad. It may help. I'm not a pink hairy bun. But you are all slimy and soft, like dough. You're right. It may work. Here it goes. It worked. It really did. I'm so big and I feel gorgeous. I love this game. <laughs> Great, let's go. Come, Mr. Midnight. Sure, Fran, I only have one complaint. That giant toad is scared, is staring at me. Um, he wants to help. What are you talking about? He wants to help us, that's all. All right, if he tries anything, I will scratch him. That's okay, but try not to hurt him so much while, um, while we're sitting on him. The water is deep and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. 
If we fall in the water, we could die, kitty. Also, I might have to leave in about 40 to 50 minutes from now because it is getting late and I have school early in the morning. So I'll try my best to stay for a while. That's okay. That is okay. I know I stream pretty late for a lot of people because I'm in PST time. So never apologize for having to leave the stream early. You're valid. Please get some rest. <laughs> Please get some sleep. You are valid. You are valid. Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Uh, hey girl, before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. We got the picture back! Oh, my heart! And this book was with it, too. Oh? Oh, Toad, you found my family photo. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll try. Alrighty. I thought I had, um, I would lost it forever, but the book is not mine. Oh, well, the book would, um, take the book as a gift. It always, it's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. That is true. The picture is power. I love that. <laughs> the picture is power. Um, yeah, I don't read enough, which is really funny because I'm an aspiring author. So you would think I, I would need to read more. But I have a hot take about that. I'm going to go off on a random rant for a moment here. Because um, the toad said you should read more because it he it's healthy and that triggered a memory. Um, I took a creative writing class at um, my college, um, I think a year or two ago. And um, the I'm, I am a firm believer in the fact that creative... The, reading and writing are two completely different things. There are a lot of people out there who will try to say that they are the same thing. They are lying. I am proof of that. Because I am dyslexic. I have been diagnosed, I think more than once, with dyslexia. My most recent time that I got diagnosed, they took a deep dive into it to see how it affects me. So they tested me in reading and they tested me in writing. I think they tested me in spelling too. Don't quote me on that though. What I remember, is that I was above average in writing, but below average in reading. And I'm not saying like, oh, I was in the seventh grade when I was tested and I have eighth grade writing and, and, and sixth grade reading. I'm saying I was in the seventh grade when I was tested. I had a fifth grade reading level. And a high schooler level writing. Like 11th and 12th grade. If reading and writing were the same thing, dyslexia would not have affected me like that. So when I went into creative writing, I told her, because we were assigned reading in that class, which made no sense to me. And I told her I have a hard time with reading because I'm dyslexic. And she's like, well, that doesn't make sense to me. And Or, or no, I, I told her that I also don't like reading. She's like, well, that doesn't make sense to me because you want to be an author and reading and writing are the same thing. I wanted to punch her. I was so mad. I was like, miss ma'am, miss ma'am, do not, miss ma'am. I was so upset. I failed that class, but for a valid reason in my personal opinion. Anyways, I'm off my soapbox. Thank you for coming to my TED <laughs> I, I'm writing more stories even though I'm not that good, but it doesn't stop me. I think everyone could be good at writing. It just takes some practice. So I believe in you. That's proof that streamer is big brain. Thank you, Phantom. I appreciate you for that. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. I do want to be an author one day. So if you guys are interested, I will keep you updated on like books that I've been working on. Because I want to get back into writing a bit more. I'm actually working on a story about character fruit. So, for those of you who like my lore, and have heard me talk about my lore, and want to know more about it... Hey, yo! Anyways, I'm gonna shut up now and play the game. I'm so sorry. I just need- I needed a moment. Um, I just realized I didn't do Colin's Hydrate, and I feel terrible. Um... <laughs> Thank you, Colin, for the Hydrate. I am terribly sorry. I appreciate you. Um, you are one of my favorite streamers because you are super funny. Thank you. That means a lot. That means a lot. <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs> yes, here we go. Hold on tight. This is oddly adorable. 
<laughs> I do have a funny story for you guys when I'm at a good stopping point in the game about something funny that happened. Oh, we're in a mini game. Um, oh, oh, um, um, okay. We did it. Okay. Oops. Okay. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. Oh. Oh. Um. Yeah. Uh. B. Okay. 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 Um. Is there gonna be another thing that comes in and saves us? Over here. Yes. And then, bam. We did it. We did it, gamers. Um. Oh. Okay, so he doesn't- he doesn't fall off the edge if I- okay. Cool. Is there- okay. Um. Well, the leaf- we- we- the, the leaf left us. Um. Little- little- little lad. Little thing here. And then- and then- and then the leaf and the bop 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 boop. We did it. We did it. We did it, guys. Toad on boat. <laughs> Toad on board. That that was the achievement. Toad on board. I love games that have cute little achievements as you go. Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Hello, pretty. Hello, Rose. Hello. Hello, welcome. Thank you for calling me pretty. That's very sweet. I said, hi. How are you doing? Hello, hello. Your name looks familiar. Have I- have I seen you in one of my buddies' chats? Cuz- your- your name looks very familiar. Thank you for the follow, I appreciate you! Hello! Hello, hello! Hello, hello! Um, we're playing Franbo. Uh, this game covers a lot of triggering topics, so, uh, please be careful. Um, I don't know your name, uh, um... I don't know, can you name a few of your buddies? Uh, Soldraic, Fysic, Girl Spoken, um, Saru ESK, um, me and my girlfriend are, um, going to have matching compass necklaces. That's adorable. That makes my heart so happy. Aw. Aw. I love that. I love that for you guys. I don't know, I follow a lot of people on Twitch. That's okay, that's valid. But hi, welcome. Um, this game covers a lot of triggering topics, so please be careful. There's um, a command for the triggering topics, uh, exclamation point TW. Um, make sure that you stay safe because this game, a little intense, a little intense. Um, I think we got past most of the crazy stuff, like the crazy, like the big ass stuff, but don't quote me on that because it might, I might be very wrong. Um, also, um, I have the, the little, little extension now that shows me your guys' pronouns. So if you want to set your pronouns, uh, exclamation point, set pronouns. Because I don't want to, I don't want to miss pronoun, you guys. There you go. Uh, welcome, though. Hi, you are now officially a cupcake bat. Thank you for joining. Hello. I will continue with the game now. Um, for those of you who haven't seen, um, my whole playthrough of this, who all knows about the game? Is there anyone who needs a lore recap? Because I'd be happy to do that for you. Do you like Markiplier? I do. He was one of the first gaming streamers I started watching. He is a huge inspiration for me. <laughs> I really want to make big productions like him someday too. With my with my lore characters. I also like Jacksepticeye. Yes, he's another one of the first people I started watching. I've played this game, so don't worry about it. Okay, cool. Um, now it's time to go home. I hope you you find your family soon, Mr. Toad. Thank you, you too. Farewell. By the way, you are nowhere near done with scary. Sorry to break it to you, Bestie. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you, Bestie. Appreciate you. Um, I've been lucky enough to meet Jack. Same, actually. I, met, I went to one of his panels. Um, I'm not gonna say which one. Because the VOD, they, they filmed the panel. And the recording of it is still out there. And so you can find me in one of these panels, but I say my real name. So I'm not going to say when and where I met him, but I met him at a panel. 
Um, he was very nice. I told him that I adopted Anti. I, I adopted Antiseptic Eye. And he looked at me and he said, okay. Um, I will be expecting child support in the mail. And everyone in the audience laughed. I was just like, I'm funny. <laughs> so yeah, um, canonically, so whenever you see a lore video of Jax that has to do with his egos, look look at Auntie and give him a scolding for me. He is supposed to be grounded and he just refuses. He just refuses to accept his grounding. He keeps messing with poor Chase. And it's like, buddy, I grounded you. Why are you here? I grounded you! <laughs> I remember you! I knew you looked familiar! Wait, were you there? Wait, really? Wait! Wait a minute! Wait! <laughs> wait, hold on! By any chance, um, have you seen clips of Jack on a talk show talking to Late Late Show or a meme called Jack Ignores Crying Fan? I have. I have, actually. The one thing I feel like the number one question I'm going to get asked is about my fake scars that I'm going to do for my cosplay. Oh, that's fair. I'm the crying fan. Oh, no! Oh, no! Well, hi! Nice to meet you! <laughs> that's a really funny, like, claim to fame, though, if you think about it. Like, you are... You are in a very famous meme in the community. <laughs> That's so funny that we have like We both know each other, but not 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 in the way that you would think. I'm not famous. <laughs> That's fair, but like <laughs> That's funny. That's funny that we like know each other, but don't. You know? I <laughs> That's cool. Anyways, hello. Um, <laughs> in the community, agree to disagree, but not what, um, worldwide famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a normal subscriber like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's really funny, though. <laughs> that is so, that is so, that is so funny. I remember you. I knew you looked. That's wild. That's <laughs> that's wild. Don't expose my real name. <laughs> it is like only you and TLJ know my real name, unless you don't remember. Which, cool. <laughs> Anyways, I'm I'm so sorry. I'm I'm distracted. I'm getting distracted from the game. I'm so sorry. But it, uh, nice to meet you. Hello. Welcome to our little little community. Hello. Hello. Um, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I've <laughs> I've been derailed. I'm. <laughs> Not trying to self promo. I have a YouTube channel. Um, if you'd like to collab, I would love that. That'd be fun. Yes. Um, I think my Discord DMs are open. Um, you can DM it to me on Discord. That'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Goodbye, Sir Toad. Thank you for the ride. Fran, what should we do now? Find a way back home, kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn, a um, and really soon all the scary things will disappear. I'll DM you and follow your insta- Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I did not read that. Whoopsies. Um, me too, kitty. We'll find the way. Also, fair warning for the new people. I am dyslexic. I am very dyslexic. So, um... This will be this will be a fun journey for all of us. <laughs> I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. The bit you didn't read, Mr. Midnight said he's hungry. Oh, okay, cool. Gotcha. Gotcha. We will figure this out. Okay. Um, I'm about to go into pill land. Uh be careful, friendos. Oh. This reminds me of that one scene in Ice Age. I feel like it's a very inappropriate joke to make, but like... Same idea, different font. Anyways, um... Mr. Midnight isn't with us in Pill Land, and that makes me sad. So, we're in- wait, actually. I have a stinging feeling that it's going to break, so let me see Pill Land first before we go. Oh, it's these guys again. Hi! 
Are you the curious insects that got stuck? They're sleeping. Oh, sweetie. I don't think they're sleeping. Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, Fran, come on. We have to go home. There's no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. Um, I can go first, alright? Um, then you follow me. Alright, kitty, you are so sweet. I'll be right behind you. Oh! I have... I'm... I'm a little... I'm a little scared. I'm... I'm not... Mr. Midnight, um, can you, can you, can you stay close with me? Why did you stop? Fran, wait. Okay. Okay. Okay! Hello, Mr. Man! Okay, bye, Mr. Man! I need to crash as it's 2 a.m. I'll talk to you tomorrow. You're such a smiling personality. Thank you! It was nice meeting you. Get a good night's sleep. Bye bye. That's cool. <laughs> oh, why is she crying blood? Oh no. Oh, my sweet baby girl. Oh no. Okay. Um, I can't hold on anymore. I don't want to die. Meow. I love him. Um, you won't die, my friend. Come on, you can do it. Jump. All right, here I go. I got you. Oh no! Friend, no! Oh, my darling babies. Oh! Don't be afraid, friend. We always fall. And after the pain, we will always rise. Oh, dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is... Tormented? You have to stay and walk your own path. Please, Aunt Grace, why won't you just take me out of here, please? You'll just leave me all alone like my mom and dad to... I'm sorry, my dear friend. You will soon understand. Aunt Grace, no, don't go. Please, please. Fran, it's time for your new medicine. happy i love him so much look at him go he's just a little he's just a little man i love him <laughs> okay fran's shoe these are fran's stockings okay oh wait a heckin what an ugly tree i scratch you evil thing Kitty? Kitty, stop it! What are you talking about? Fran, my darling, is that you? It can't be. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would I be? Fran, you are a tree! Don't be silly. Help me get up. Bestie. Bestie, you're a tree. Um, wait just a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear, you have become a tree! What? But how? My dear, this... This has... This was... This was the end... This, this was the end of the line. That 
that's a weird sentence. That doesn't sound like it... You know, it's fine. The big monster did this. I know it, kitty. We we won't... He won't let us go home. That... Sorry. Dyslexia. Yeah. Um... I hope he won't... Um, I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I always come back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Every streamer has had a FNAF phase, let's be real. Um, I, <laughs> I think I remember him from that night. That night mom and dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. Just, I just want to go home. But you're a tree, my friend. A tree! I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Do I still do? Ghost, you legend. You legend. <laughs> I actually, um, I don't remember who it was that wanted to do this with me, but me and a friend of mine ages ago had a plan to make a FNAF fan game series together and I had this like storyline planned out in my head and they were gonna help me develop it um but that never came to fruition and I just decided to like it was it was you Jay okay I wasn't sure if it was you or if it was um my sibling or maybe both of you um but anyways uh <laughs> we <laughs> we planned on making that game together right and um that never came to fruition and so I just um, snatched that idea, and I just said, you know what, what if I make a book series with this? And I have that whole storyline of the animatronic bit as one book. And then I make multiple different horror stories that don't all just have to do with animatronics. Um, and it's, it's funky. It's like, it's gonna be a horror series that takes place in the future, and it's, it's a very pod, it's very cool. I have to go to sleep soon, but talk to you later, maybe. All right, bye, Ghosty. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Um, am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, Fran. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. I feel like I'm going to butcher that and say something bad if, if I try to read that. So I'm not going to. Same with that. Same with that. Hey! Ah, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Stop it. I'll scratch you. What are they saying? Oh, my kitty. Why, why is this happening to us? Stop attacking me, please! I mean you no harm! Kitty, help me! Find my purse, please! Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I can do. Okay, we are looking for a purse. We're looking for a purse. <gasps> There's the purse, but it's too far! Okay, I see my friend's purse! Okay, maybe I need to do this. Yes, 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 I... I have to reach it somehow. Okay. So... I expe I refuse to expose my soft for Okay. Why can't I... Okay. Well. Is there a stick I can use? Can I borrow one of your shoes? No. No, I cannot. Can I borrow your stockings? No. Can I scratch at the boat? No. What can I do? I've seen similar mechanics. They're, they circulate. Okay. Uh. Rock. 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 Oh! Rock! Shiny! Now, st Now, now... M Mr. Midnight, sir. I would like to put... There we go. 
There we go. I got the purse only because I'm the best. Oh, I love him. Oh, I love him so much. You are the best, Mr. Midnight. Friend, my darling, I got the purse. That's amazing. You're the best, Mr. Midnight. Now show the... Um, show the sir who is attacking me my family picture. Maybe he understands what a human is. Well, I really hope he does. Okay, I... I will read that momentarily. Use on the lad. Yes! Huh, where are you taking me, Mr. Vegetable? They want to help you, friend. I can feel it. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I'll be right here with you. I love this so much. This is so cute. Vegetative state. I'm still not reading because I'm... Yes. Oh, they put her in a little pot! <laughs> Welcome, creature. My name is... ZR. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes! Finally, words I understand! My good friend Ride told me that you showed him an illustration. With four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them, the little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Um... Let, let me explain. Yes, let me let me explain it to you. Ho ho ho, no need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. Hello? of divination sorry um my witch my witchy brain went burr um uh let me let, let me proceed <laughs> let me see you are good no doubt about that a seeker of the truth very common for the bow family tree and your name is fran you are the girl with the passion of with the passion of life Okay, this is where I'm confused, because Bo was her middle name. Right? Wasn't Bo her middle name? Cause she had a, she has a last name. Bo was her middle name. It it was on her records in the hospital. Weird. Okay. A passion for life! <laughs> like compassion? And it's a fruit? I'm so sorry. I think Bo is her last name, but it said in the- Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hold up. I'm- ch I'm fact checking this. I- I could have sworn. I could have sworn. Okay, okay, okay. Fran... Bo... Wiki. Where's okay? That's the wiki. Can I can I see? Ha ha! It's I figured it out. This is her full name. That's her full name. I checked the wiki. That is her full name. Why is this? Why? Why? <laughs> Proof. Also, this game takes place in the... Oh, no. I read that wrong. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna stop scrolling through this so that I don't accidentally spoil myself. Anyways. 
I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat, protector of gates. Interesting. I'm sorry, because of... I can't explain why that blew my mind. Because it spoils my character's lore. But, um... Hey, yo! <laughs> Mr. Midnight and Character Fruit have something in common, I guess! Um, you can see all that? Um, is, uh, why does everyone know me? Uh, can you see all of that in a seed? Be quiet. I see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. I, I think I know what you're talking about, but what does that mean, except for one? You mean the monster? You're not supposed to be here, Fran. That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. Can you help me? I understand, but can you help me then? Um, we can't, we can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. There must be a way. I, am I dead or something? dead what do you mean by that you know when you no longer exist besides it's n not normal to be a tree just be dead i or i must be dead death is nothing more than the absence of love once you can't feel love you die even if your body still walks damn <laughs> this game this game gets a little too deep um Help me get back home. I really need to go home. Um, I still feel love for my kitty. I can't be dead. Please help me. Um, little cat, come closer to me. Uh, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Um, show us the way back home. I implore you. Ah, I have a question. Are you the king? Ah ha ha! You are, you are hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of... Ethersta? I think it's Ethersta. Um... Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They're pretty. Um... Will you help me? King, sir, please, will you help me? Why is... Why is this need of you going home so great? The seed told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are so there are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time, and I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. I see. You are very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it's your own task to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where is this door, sir? We'll, wa we'll talk about it later. First things first, you must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir. That would be very, that would be very great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand. But not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me, you don't understand what I say, human lady. Or, do you understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do. And you sound so kind. This is incredible. Do you understand? Um, do you understand, my kitty? I don't, your highness. I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sound. You'll, you'll see anything as your own world very soon. No doubt about that. You'll be fine, kitty. 
And sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now this time, uh, now it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? A little, yeah. I get dizzy, why? Take her upstairs immediately. It's a bug! <laughs> it's a bug! Where are you taking me? What are you going, um, what are you going to do to me? To get some, to get some arms and legs, everything will be fine. Oh, to get some arms and legs, everything will be fine. I'm so good at reading. I'll be waiting for you, friend. I love you. Everything will be okay. him good day my name is Palone Palone Tress I'm I'm a call him pal for short um and I'm your doctor today at your humble service are you the emergency case wow amazing what a huge beautiful fluffy thing excuse me <laughs> oh I'm sorry it's just I've never seen anything like you before He's like a furry flying axolotl and I love him. I'm still trying to understand what that all of this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human. I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me. I'm the beast. Let's go. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> he's just a furry man. He's just a, he's a soft fuzzy man. He's a soft fuzzy man. Like 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 the 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 um demon the lemon demon song. He's a soft fuzzy man. <laughs> I'm sorry. That got me really excited. <laughs> here we are. Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Velocus Velo Velocus created me. Sure. Yes. Um. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Oh wow! That sounds amazing. Um. Who's who's this guy? Who's who's that? Haven't you heard about the five realities? I have not. He's the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness, and one day he fell. He fell so badly, his heart was broken. He was all alone. But he came to... Ithursta, and his blood made the water pink. This water pink. Um, that is why it's so pure. It, it's, a, it's, a very, bleh, it's a very long story. Wow, that sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about other realities. To my understanding, um, the other game that I told you guys you guys about that's by this creator that not a lot of people know about should explain the other realities a little more. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I read. That's what it sounded like when I read it. So, there you go. There's that for ya. I'm very excited to play that game. I think I'm gonna play it in between Franbo and um, Little Misfortune. I think that that'll be <clears throat> a nice transition of games. Yeah. Um, and and how is it that you were here? Um, what brought you to Ethersta? My kitty and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again, but then we fell. A big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this, but Sir Doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed. But you wanted to keep being Fran. You wanted to keep your um you wanted to keep your life. 
So you took on this empty shell um, to maintain all of your your precious memories with you. It's actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a tris trisalis? I think is how you say that? But it's dangerous to have you here. Um, it makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself? Wow, but how, sir? How? I didn't know I was doing anything. You really didn't know what you were doing, I see. Well, when you travel to Ethersta, you opened a door between your reality and ours. And with this door opened, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. I really hope we didn't bring our monster over here. I would, be, I would, feel, I would feel terrible. I mean, it's out of my control. But, like, I'd feel terrible. And there's only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster. The terrible black. Oh, he's crying. I can't see this happening again. I just can't. Don't be sad, doctor. I'm really sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you're so nice. And you don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special, but let's concentrate on your arms and legs, all right? Yes, uh, yes, doctor. Soldier of the sun, spirit of the water, give Fran her arms and legs. Oh, look at me go! Look at her! She's so cute! How do you feel, Fran, um, Fran from, bleh, Fran from Ithursta? That is hard to say. <laughs> wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix it. This water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? Do you think it could fix my mom and dad? What do you mean fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. Oh. You are the best doctor I've ever had and you are fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Dearn, but he was an evil old man. An old man. Hmm, I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let let's go now. I'll leave you all I'll leave you at the station. There's a lot to unpack there. <laughs> There's a lot to unpack there. Here we are again. Show Czar the King what a nice Ithirstian you've become. Thank you again, Doctor. You have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye! I love him with every fiber of my being. You fluffy kitty! Ah, oh, look you- Oh, ah, do you like that? Aha! Uh -huh. That's cute. Here I am. Fran, my dear, you've got leaves on your head. How pretty. Oh, let me see you. What a great a thirsty and you've become. Thank you, Sir King. The doctor is incredible. He had magic with the water. But he was sad. He told me many things, but I don't I didn't quite understand. Don't worry, pal pal will be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please, you said something about a great wizard. Yes, the great wizard is the only one who is able to bring your human body back. And he has the stones that can open the door um, that will lead you home. Where is the wizard? What stone? This land is full of things I don't understand. Uh, you, uh, words. I, <laughs> aha, you don't, you haven't even, you haven't even gone outside this castle and you already want to know everything? That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, Fran. The great wizard lives in the great mountain, Cotrim? Sure. Um, but we haven't seen him for a while. Find him, everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find uh, the Great Wizard yourself? 
Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most valuable task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see. So the stones are like keys. And where is this mountain you said? Um, you have to ask around. Follow the signs. I have to go now. But I will be back in time to help you with the door. Um, have a great a thirsted day, and good luck finding the great wizard. Wow, did you see that huge fluffy creature, Kitty? That's Pal! He fixed me! Yes, it's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. He's Here's your purse. Thank you, Mr. Midnight. Oh, thank you, Kitty. I didn't see- Um, did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they are on the other side of the lake? Next to your clothes? Um, uh, well, we have other things to do anyways. We have to find the wizard. Yes, the king said something about a mountain too. Yes, mountain... Mountain caught room. Yes. Um, <laughs> the great wizard lives there. Let's go. I love how this game is, like, great on its own, but then has cute references to, like, Alice in Wonderland and... Um, the Wizard of Oz. That's adorable to me. That makes me so freaking happy. Okay, before we do anything, I want to read this book. Examine the book! Examine the book. Okay. I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. I found what my senses couldn't show me. I found the truth that, um, relays silently in the unknown. Leon. One of the one of the thousand? Many faces. It looks intriguing. Are the faces crying blood? Leon Castillo, one of the thousands. Okay. My name is Leon. I'm currently 92 years old and living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit, I never was fond of jewelry, houses, or clothing. Um, since childhood, I always talked to animals, plants, and insects, and even though I never got, um, a response, I never quit. If you're reading this, maybe this is because you're looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that others can't, or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to the silence and become one with everything. My vibe. My vibe. I'm listening. You have my attention, Mr. Leon. Maybe you can see things that others can't. Oh yes, that sounds a lot like me. Interesting. Mr. Leon is old and he seems sad. Hmm. Let's see what he wrote. Yikers, that's, that looks a lot like what we see, gang, doesn't it? Um. December 17th, 1875. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. So this, okay. Is he saying that he sees all that we see, but by default? So like we take the pills and we see that. He just sees it. He doesn't need the pills. There's no way to turn them off like we can. That sounds terrifying. I wouldn't want to live in a world like that. That's scary. I forgot to click the thing. The black shadows. I can see them too. They are everywhere. Cry because it hurts. December 19th, 1875. I had a vision. I'm still breathing fear. I feel at, at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Demor, Prince of Darkness. From the fifth reality. Okay, so we have five realities, right? Is that that's what's happening? Uh, the first one was where Pal came from, where Pal was created. Um, I think we're in the second one right now. I'm going to guess that the real world is the third one because it's 3D, third dimension, third reality makes sense. Um, this this big bad guy is from number five. Interesting. Okay. Cool. 
I can keep up with that. Um, I feel like I'm gonna need to take notes. Lore Keeper in action, but you know, it's fine. Um, and then the, our guy is named Remor. Prince of Darkness. Okay, there's a Prince of Darkness in one of the books I'm writing, so that's interesting. Um, it talked to me, playing with me, and showed me all of the terrors. It told me that I was the key to its existence. Inside my head, the stone of wisdom inside my head. Okay. Cry because it hurts. Hmm, creepy. Yes. The, mon the monster is making more people sick, too. Inside my head, the stone of wisdom. God, that hurts my heart. That, like... <sighs> okay. Side rant. The mental hospitals in this time period weren't great. Let's be real. They were awful. And you can tell by the words that she says that she believes what they're telling her. Like, like whenever she goes to a doctor, she said, oh, they fixed me. And that breaks my heart. Like, sweetheart, you are not broken. There is nothing wrong with you. You might have some issues that not everyone deals with. I don't know what mental things that Fran goes through. That's one of the things that's like super like open to interpretation when it comes to this game because you don't know if any of this is real or not for her. It never really confirms or denies it. And that's why I want to play that game that not everyone knows about because I want to know. I want to know more about my baby girl. I I want to know what's going on. And it's like this concept of like I don't know. It's just If you if you are going through a if you have a mental illness or you experience a mental issue uh, I guess the best way to put it of some sort there is nothing you are not wrong there's nothing wrong with you like yes you struggle and I'm not invalidating your struggles but I don't want you to feel like that there is something wrong with you because you are valid and you are made exactly the way you are supposed to be made and you are loved and worthy of love I don't want you guys feeling like you need to be fixed. If that makes sense. Like, it's valid to find help, but don't think you need to be... Don't think that you're broken and need to be sewn back together. Because you're not. You're valid. Because, like, I'm, I'm on the autism spectrum, and I feel that way sometimes, and I don't want anyone to feel that way. Anyways, there's my little rant. Just wanted to say that. Um, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Anyways... Let's let's go back to the lore. Um, I'm sorry. I just I needed a moment. Um, cry because it hurts. Yeah. Um, January thirteenth, eighteen seventy six. I can see myself around. The other me telling me lies. Talks about all the pain and suffering in my life. Hi, hi, Meta. Hello. Hello, we're playing Franbo. I don't know if you've seen playthroughs of this game or played it yourself or have heard of it, um, but it covers a lot of really triggering topics. So um, exclamation point TW to make sure that it doesn't touch on any topics that are sensitive. Like right off the bat, it's a little yikers. Um, but yeah, please, please, please be careful. But hello, welcome. How are you doing, Meta? Hello, 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 hello. This is one of my favorite horror games like ever. So um, if you, if you want to stick around, please do. Um, yeah. Yeah, but how are you doing? Hi. Hello. Hello, hello. Um, the other me wants me to... I'm not going to say that. Um, he smiles while pronouncing the words. Not saying that. And I have tried... Um, and I have... I have tried hypnotized by his words. But there is always something saving me at the end. It must be the love to live. Oh. 
I joined to a hanging person. I am so sorry, Xylik. Hello. Hi. Um, here, I'm gonna go to the next page. Okay, that's a little better. Um, I'm gonna go back to that other one to see what Fran says. But, um, since, since you hopped in, hello. This game is very triggering. Lots of, lots of, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Here, actually, here. There's that for you. Please be careful and take care of yourself. If you need to tab out, mute the tab, or, or leave altogether, you are valid. Please take care of yourself. You come first. If you need to miss any of my streams because of this game, I will not be offended. Go get water and a snack. I appreciate you. But anyways, this is Frambo. This is one of my favorite horror games. Um, I actually have a little uh, character in um, my lore named Mr. Midnight, who's named after a character in this game. And heavily based off of him. Um, I, it's one of my favorite games, but I've never gotten a chance to play it myself until now. And I'm really enjoying it. There's also another game made by the same creator called Little Misfortune. And a third game that not a lot of people know about. And I forget what it's called. Give me just a moment. Um, the Sorrow Virus. Which I will be playing at some point later on down the line as well. Um, because I want to learn more about the universe that the, these creators have made. Because I think it's really cool. Um, but yeah. That's, that's, that's that for you. That is that for ya. Um, yes. Uh, I don't know if Meta and Xylik have seen my playthrough of the game so far. If not, do you guys, do you need a lore recap? Because I can give you a lore recap real quick. So much has happened. <laughs> if you need a lore recap, you are valid and I will give it to you. But yes, please take care of yourselves. Anyway, I will continue now. Um, I'm about to go back to the page with the- with the- with the person. Please, please, please be careful. Okay. Um. Poor Mr. Leon. I like the drawings, though. Aw, oh, that's nice. It must be the love to live. Okay. These things. I've seen them before. I met a shadow for the first time. It talked to me. Kamalis. Very careful. Got it. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Xylik. But hello! How are you doing? Hello, hello! Hello, hello! Um, they're a race called the Kamalis. They hunt weakness and pain. Um, January 15th. Forgot to read that bit. Um, I asked it about the possession of human bodies, and it said, We are born and feed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are invisible to them, but other, uh, but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end. That's why, that's why there was one assigned to every single patient at the hospital. Oh God. Oh God. Those poor kids. After that, it started raining, and it walked away from me, leaving a black, oily path after it. I believe water may purify them. Okay. Water. 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 We will remember that. Speaking of which, I'm going to hydrate myself. <laughs> We've seen these guys, too! We've seen these guys! We've seen them! We're at the part of the game where we're doing a lot of reading, so I apologize in advance if this gets a little boring. Uh, we're just doing a big, big lore rundown, because this book, I think, explains a lot. Um, after seeing the Kamala's um, reacting to water, I thought of trying a little experiment last night, and- or last night. A little experiment! Period! Last night- there we go. I, um, encountered something amazing. The Kamalas transform into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. Oh, that's how these guys happen! Okay. The metamorphosis was painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, the Kamalas calmed down and started to cry on the ground. It felt like the pain was disappearing after a few minutes. Um... Or no, disappearing, period. After a few minutes, a bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. Wait. I forgot to... 
Ah, uh, the- um, ah, uh, this creature, I wonder why people can't see them. They exist and make people sick. They don't make people sick, they feed off of their sickness. To my understanding. Hi, Cam! Hello! Hello! We are playing- we are playing friend Bo again. Yes, yes. And we are having lots of fun. This creature, I wonder why people can't see them. Okay. Hee hee, they melt like wicked witches in fairy tales! I love her! I love her! Peaceful creatures. If I look like them, I would go around scaring bad people. She's so cute. It felt like the bright creature could really- could read my thoughts. Thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go back where I belong. Ethersta awaits. Oh! Okay. So the ghosty guys are from here. Hi, Cass! Hello! Hello! We are playing Fran Bo. We're playing Fran Bo again. Um, once again, uh, t uh exclamation point TW, uh, to make sure that you aren't- that you're, you're being careful and all of that jazz. Um, also, for the newer people who, um, have hopped into chat, um, we have a new pronoun called exclamation point set pronouns, so I don't misgender you or mispronoun you, because that's very important to me. So, if you guys want to do that, feel free to. If you don't want to, no pressure. But there you go. There you go. I have, like, two different versions of chat up on my stream, and it's, like, it's, it's pretty cool. It's, it's like, hey, yo. Anyways, um... I felt like I jumped into this in the middle of this. Yes. Um, I've played it. All of the VODs of, like, me playing it um, are still up. If you want to, like, get caught up on all the lore and stuff. I also am planning on hopefully making it into a YouTube series. So, fingers crossed. Um, yeah. So, there's that for you. There, There's a lot to this game. There is a lot to this game. <laughs> Um, Thirsta awaits. Okay, so the little ghosty guys from this page and the guys that we've seen around um, are from Thirsta, which is where we are right now. Um, I felt like uh, I might cause looks interesting. Reading is nice. Thank you. Thank you. I am bad at reading, so I'm, <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you like this. Um, yeah, the this this part is like all flavor text um but i i do it to like read more about the story there's more to the game that we need to do i just wanted to quickly go through and read this um to get us all caught up to speed on everything that's happening to little fran um if you wish to see the light come with me you have the key it said must go there after waking up okay i didn't answer after a while it faded away Read thoughts? I think that's a bit scary. I guess we're always afraid of things we can't understand, especially if they seem nice. Um, fellow bad reader, hey, let's go. <laughs> um, I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I recall Rimmer from the fifth reality. Um, if there is a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. I was thinking that Ethersta may not be a city in this world, but a reality by itself. I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept the, the, Valor Val Valoka's invitation. Since I saw the Valokas, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head in a single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. I don't understand the drawing. It looks interesting, though. Maybe it's to show how time lo what time looks like. No, I think this is the different realities. I think a thirst is here. The big bad guy is from here. And I think we're here. I think this is where we belong. But we somehow went whoop. And we fell. Um... March 13th, I got a visit from my son, Brian. I told him about the things that I've seen, but he didn't want to hear and left. I don't blame him. I understand the reality presented. Um, 
presented before my eyes is visible to is invisible to most people. There we go. Um, I wish I could find a friend just like me because my son, he thinks I'm insane. Lonely with no family, huh? You should get a cat, Mr. Leon. My son thinks I'm insane. Bah, you're not. I can tell. That's what happened. I ran. My heart. <laughs> My heart. Thank you for the posture check. I was slouching. I appreciate you. Um... My body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you cut all social laws and only apply our reality, our reality laws because they are not only laws, but also behaviors, chemical behaviors, behaviors, natural laws. Posture is good for reading. Thank you. <laughs> I did not understand anything he said there. Um, I think I have to study some chemistry to understand what he means. Yes. Yes, yes, indeed. It can be fun to understand how we are... ...builded, for sure. I think that's what that said. Without some behaviors, without some laws, we wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish to be a leaf on the ground, calm while dying. Ow. He seems sad. That's sad. I think... Oh, okay. Um, <gasps> it's our soft fuzzy man! It's our friend! It's our friend! We know him! We know him! We know him! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, November 11th. That is four days before my birthday. Uh, last night after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. I found a strange bottle with a pink liquid inside. That's the water! That's the water that helped us! In the same spot the creature landed. I can't fully understand the contents of the water. I have found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognized. The bacteria seems to get rid of unusual behaviors in any kind of living creature. I poured some of the pink liquid on a dying plant and it bloomed after a few minutes. I cut my fingers to test the liquid with human tissue and it cured it after a few seconds. This bacteria may work as plate platelets and white blood cells, but at a very high speed. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. What creature could that be? Oh, mysterious pink water. Hee <laughs> hee, good for the plant that got better and bloomed. Um... Axo Ghost, I want pet. He is so lovely. When we run into him in the game, I will point him out to you, Zylik. He is so great. He is such a lovely guy. And this world! World, my beloved! Hello! Hello, hello! How are you doing? Hello, hello! We are doing reading simulator in this game at the moment. This explains lots of lore. Lots of lore for the game. Um, but so much has happened, we accidentally turned ourselves into a tree, and we met a giant axolotl, and he is a soft fuzzy man, like the song by Lemon Demon, and I love him. <laughs> I'm okay, just tired, felt that, felt that. Um, I dream of thousands of black cats surrounding my house, big yellow eyes staring at my sleep. Wait! Is Mr. Midnight magical? Wait! Wait, that's- Wait, wait! The pronouns page won't load for me, but I go by she, her- Okay, I will remember that. I will remember that. I'm sorry, I don't know why it's not loading for you. That's so weird. Are you still stuck with the mean girls? No, we escaped. We yeeted them. They are gone. Um, and we saved Mr. Midnight and he is with us and we turned the toad outside all big and he swam us across the water. And so now everything's fine. But then we went across a bridge, right? And then the big monster guy was like, heck no. And then he destroyed the bridge and then we fell. And then, and then, and then Fran was like, but I don't want to die. And apparently that manifested itself into a wish and then she turned into a tree and 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 so her her human body was destroyed 
but she was not, and so now she's a tree. And and <laughs> Mr. Midnight is like, I'm. I will help you, and then he took her to the tree king, and the tree king took her to the doctor, who's like a flying axolotl furry guy, and he saved us. <laughs> There's your lore recap. <laughs> this is such a good game. <laughs> Wait, is this where your black cat friend is from? Yes! So, um, my black cat, Mr. Midnight, here, I will let him pop up just for free, for you guys. Why is he not? Oh, wait. Oopsies. Why it no work? Hello? <laughs> Hello? There he is. Okay. This is Mr. Midnight. He is my character. I'll just say who he is. Um... For the longest time, I've said he is my character's special cat. She has several cats, but he is one of her special ones. Never specified. He is her familiar. Th th there you go. I spoiled lore for you. Have that. You're welcome. The boy is so cute. Thank you. He is a lovely little boy, and his name is Mr. Midnight, and we love him. When I picked the name for this cat, it was for a application for the bear SMP. I didn't know what to name this cat. I just knew I wanted my character to have a black cat because it made sense for her lore. And then the first thing that came to my mind was Mr. Midnight because ever since I heard about this game, I wanted to get a black cat and name it Mr. Midnight. So he is named after the black cat in this game. There's your lore recap <laughs> for, for, for character fruit. Anyways, I spoiled so much of character fruit's lore. Um, but that's okay. I feel like it was pretty obvious as to who she is and where she came from. The boy is so cute. Thank you. You can redeem him with your points to get him to stay up forever for the rest of the stream. We also have a stuffy version of him. And sometimes he likes to vibe on my head with a little hat. We love him. He is a very good boy. Anyways, let's go back to the, <laughs> to the reading simulator. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, I dream of thousands of black cats surrounding my house. Big yellow eyes staring at my sleep. Wow, I love the pictures. Many kittens in many colors. I think Mr. Midnight's magical. I don't think he's from this reality. I think he's magical. At Thursday, it feels like fresh air is coming... I didn't read that in time. Um... Beings in Athursta are varied, from roots to giant insects. Um, roots are the first in this reality. Insects came later. Um, I learned their language in numerology. Hey, yo. Okay. I think I'm gonna read more of this later, if that's okay with you guys, because I feel bad for just sitting here and reading. Um, also, oh wait. Um, Fruit, this is random, but if we go to TwitchCon together, we should share each other's footage if we vlog it. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, we should. Because I would love to see the difference in our editing styles. abso freaking lootly abso freaking lootly Also, I thought we made an agreement where I would be editing for you. So what what difference in editing styles? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, also, I think I should ask this um, just reading sim or is there other stuff? I won't complain if it's just reading. Yeah, there's more to the game. There's more to the game. This book just explains so much about the lore of this game and the universe. Um, and I was given the book and I was like, ah, yes, I need to read this. But it's so freaking long. So we're going to continue reading that another time. And we're going to continue playing. Fran is a tree. We have turned into a tree. Look at us. And here's Mr. Midnight, the one and only. You told me that we have to find a mountain cot room and the great wizard. Yes, that is where we have to go. And we will go this way. So I believe we are in the second reality question mark. Streamlabs is popping off, I guess. Who are you, Mr. Man? Hello, sir. Um, are you a guard? Yes. Um, Mount Cotrum. Where, where is that? Franz tree free. <laughs> Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate you, Cass. 
I would like to edit some videos. I think the TwitchCon vlog would work well to see how well I can edit. Fairs. Big fairs. Big, big fairs. Um, also, while I, have, while I have some of you here, um, cause Jay reminded me of this, um, what emotes do you guys want to see? I asked that earlier in the stream, but since there are more people here, I want to ask that again. Um, what emotes do you guys want to see? Cause I want to get you guys more emotes. I don't have room at the moment, but I have room for animated emotes. So there's, is there something that you guys want to see? I already have one idea. I want to do a cat jam emote, but it's Mr. Midnight. <laughs> I want I want Mr. Midnight cat jam. Mad fruit. Gotcha. I can I can do that. I can do that. I feel like that one would be static. We don't see it often. That is fair. That is very fair. Fruit does not like to show her anger much. <laughs> Just have a bunch of random fruits that can go. <laughs> And call them random <laughs> I'm sorry, but what came to mind is like the baby sensory videos with like the little dancing fruits. I'm sorry. I'm sure that that's not what you meant, world. But that's that's where my brain went. That is where my brain went. And I love that. Um, do you know... <laughs> Banana PNG called Sam. <laughs> that is beautiful that is beautiful i do i do have a um a png in the works however um <laughs> sadbanana.png i do have a png in the works that sorry was making for me and i'm very excited to show you guys it's gonna be so cute there's a free heart emo another for the collection yes of course it's my little character why did it make a link? This- Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, back to the game. So sorry, gamers. Um, do you know where the mountain cot room is? Yes. Okay, where is it? Can you tell me where it is? Yes. Okay. Tell me, please. The mount cot room is only in wintertime? Hello? Wait. Winter time? <laughs> Hello? What are you talking about? Um, of course, winter time. What do you think? Um, I can't wait for winter? You don't wait for it, you go there. Oh, I remember! Okay, okay, I remember this. I remember this. Chat will be confused, but I won't, because I've seen playthroughs of this game. It's just been many years. Um, why did it make a link? I have far too many hearts. It's okay. You deserve all of the hearts. Confuse fruit because game can be confusing. Absolutely, freaking lootly Absolutely, freaking lootly Um, the fruits don't ha um, have faces or anything. They just are apple or grape called fruit angry or fruit happy. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> That's really funny. I'm sorry. That's really funny. <laughs> I will get you guys little, like, fruit emotes just for this inside joke. <laughs> like, actual fruits. I agree with this, this statement. Fruit Pog is just an apple! <laughs> I love you guys so much. <laughs> you guys- you guys are great. You guys- <laughs> I'm gonna tweet about this later. It's gonna be <laughs> you okay, fruit? Yes, yes. I'm do I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. Ah, Just... <laughs> oh, that's great. That's funny. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Okay. Um, you don't wait for it. You go there. Okay. How do I go to winter time? World is great. They. <laughs> World is great, they great cheese. You confuse me. You guys confuse me. I love you all. You confuse me. You confuse me with your words sometimes. But they're funny words and they make me smile. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm not good um explaining things. Uh go down the stairs and then straight. Go? Oh, but how? 
Um, you'll find a clockmaker. He can explain things, I think. He tr tried with me before. Alright, thank you, sir. Um, Mr. Midnight, I'm confused about this place. I don't know what's happening. Good, if I don't confuse you, then I don't know if you're human on in this case, Fruit. I mean, my character isn't, so. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's so pretty. <laughs> what, wait, what is pretty? I'm lost. The winter time? Is the winter time pretty? I'm sorry, I'm the forest. Oh, yes, the forest is very pretty. Yes. I really, I like trees like these that have like the pink flowers, like the little blossom trees or dogwood. It make it makes me happy. It makes me happy. I also live in the Pacific Northwest, so I'm surrounded by trees. So, so I don't know, like forest is just where I live. So when people are like, oh my goodness, the forest is so pretty. I mean, like, I, f I don't know. I feel like I've become not numb to it, but I'm so used to it that like, it's like, well, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just like, well, well, well duh. <laughs> yeah. I have eyes. <laughs> but I, I <laughs> but then I forget that sometimes people don't live by forests and mountains. That's another thing. Um, my, f I have friends who live in very different places of the world. And so they'll show me pictures of things that they consider mountains. And then I laugh at them. <laughs> and I'm like, you call that mountain? Ah, that's funny. The pretty forest. It's very pretty forest. I will have to send you guys some pictures of some of the areas that I live near. Like, we have a really pretty lake that's very foresty. I will, I will take pictures for you guys. And I will put it in chit chat one of these days. I live in the flattest place in the universe, Florida. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Don't, don't, don't say where you live in chat, though. I am, I'm, I, but I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, mountain is this way. Cart is this way. Castle is this way. Okay, cool. A mountain, a tree, and a little water. Cool. Let's go this way. Let's go this way first. I, w I like to explore for lore purposes. Okay. Okay. What are you doing, Mr. Man? It's a good day for um, good fabric and thread. I am at your service. Claw. Okay. Wait. I remember. I have to, I have to go over here and get lots of coin from this guy in order to beat him. And then I, I can get coins from him. And the coins will be useful later on down the road. I'm going to get at least five of them. Um, <laughs> what are y'all going to do? Search all of Florida? <laughs> well, yeah, but it's also like a chat rule. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got to run fast. <laughs> But yeah, I see what you mean. It's just to keep people safe, you know what I mean? Also, chat rule. Hello! Good day, young one. What are you doing? The war is about to start, and I can't see meaning in the meaningless. I didn't get the message, sorry. That's okay, that's okay, don't worry. Don't worry, you're good. Um... What 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 do you, what do you mean, Mr. Snail friend? Um Join me, young one. You will be rewarded with one gold coin if you come back alive. Um Sure. Join you where? The game is about to begin. You are the the Kamalis. I am the 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 Volcus. Um okay. Okay. Um it's a board game? Yes, a board game. Let's immense in this adventure. You against me. I give you a coin if you win, eh? What do you say? Um, what are the rules? First
was to place three of the same figures in a diagonal, horizontal, or vertical line wins. Oh, so it's like tic-tac-toe. We toss the machinery and see who begins. Are you in? Tic-tac-toe? But why would you just give me the gold if I win? Uh, time is gold. I'm very old. I'm, I've been around a long time. I just want to have a good time. Okay. Well, let's play. I... I... How do I... There. Okay. Um... Bam. Bam. And then here. I did it! I did it, gamers. And I can just play again? Cool. Woo! Um. Here. I did this wrong. Oh, shoot. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it, guys. I totally know what I'm doing. I did it. Okay. Proud of you. Thank you, world. I appreciate you. Middle. Middle always wins. Except for that one time when I didn't. <laughs> Ignore that. Yay! Okay. Boop. Very well done, little creature. You are a master. I did it. I did it, guys. Okay. Um. What do you do? Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? Good day. I'm Prodder. I'm molding this piece of iron. Why are you molding it? What? What? What's? What's it for? I have to deliver a few clock pieces to the clockmaker. Um. You make all kinds of stuff. Um, sure, if you have some ideas, we can talk about them and padam. A master of tic-tac-toe. Thank you, Zywig. I do it. It's very good. Um, th yeah, that's very good to know. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working, but if you need my services, you know where I am. I will need something from him later. I can feel it. What a tiny shop. It smells very funny. Oh, that's it. That's fine. <laughs> I'm not a child. Hello, miss. I think you have beautiful fruits. They're me. They're little me's. Thank you, dear. Would you like some? Um. My mission is to go home. Um. I want. I want to be hungry when I get there. Oh, so. From what part of Ithaca are you from? Or Ithera. Why did I why did I think Ithaca? Ithera, are you um Ithersta? This is fine. Um Are you from outside the island? I'm actually a human. Oh, a human, that's new. Well I hope you complete your mission. Thank you, miss. I certainly will. See you. And here's the clockmaker. We found him. What are you doing? I'm working on my clock. I'm looking for the wizard. Um, do you know where I can find the great wizard? Uh, no, miss. I do clocks. I fix clocks. I listen to clocks. Tick tock. Like, 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 like the social media platform. <laughs> um, Mount... Mount Cotrum. Do you know where the Mountain Cotrum is? The Mountain Cotrum only exists in wintertime. Um, otherwise, it's just a regular mountain. I can't wait for winter, though. The king said that the wizard would be in the mountain cot room. You don't need to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. Time is a infinity, infinitely layered reality. Well, then what should I do? What am I, what am I supposed to do? 
Go to the big clock and change the season. Just change it. Where's where's the clock? Well, go towards the castle, but turn to your left when you see the stars. You'll find a big clock on the tree. Good luck. Thank you, sir. You are very nice. Okay, let's find a big clock, ladies, gents, and mixes. Okay. So, go to the castle, right? And then we turn left when we see stars. We go here. I did not see any stars. Where... Where be stars? Is it... That's not helpful. Um, turn. Am I dumb? Was I supposed to go this way? Maybe I was supposed to go this way. Oh, yep. Wasn't it stairs? Oh. It's fine, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm extremely dyslexic. Um, it has symbols and colors. What does it? S okay, okay. Um, let's do let's do this. It sounds like something broke. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. How do? Um, how does it work? Okay. Um, works differently here. Yes, it was. Oopsies. Um, this is a very old clock. Where are the number? Okay, so. Something's broken here. I don't know, maybe I can ask for help. Okay. Let's let's go to the clockmaker. Maybe he has answers. Mr. Mr. Clockmaker man. Do, you, do help. Help. The clock is broken. I have a little problem. Yes, um I don't have any. The clock is broken. Uh, the clock on the tree is broken. I can't make it, it work. Be Please help me. Um, a broken clock. That's a disgrace. Poor clock. You have to help me. Please fix it for me. I beg you. I have to go home. I never fix a clock for nothing. Otherwise, my life's time goes to waste. What do you mean? I charge one big golden coin per clock. Time is gold. Here, a gold coin. Here you go. I got you. I got you. Yes, but you have to offer me the job first, all right? Um, do it and be polite. Will, will you fix it, please? I feel like I made it pretty clear. Oh boy, the bloody knife is... <laughs> the, the knife is bloody now. Yeah, so for the ritual... Um, because the girls wanted one specific ritual, but we found another one as a way to, like, trick them into doing another witch ritual that would destroy them. Um, unfortunately, this ritual needed blood from the person who was casting the spell. So, um, the blood is Franz. Um, that's why there's blood on the Kenefe. I felt really bad. I really didn't want to. <laughs> My poor baby. Um... Would you like to fix my clock in exchange for this piece of gold and in the name of, uh, time? <laughs> I beg of you, accept my offer. Of course, that was an incredible job offer. Very passionate. Great, let's go to the big clock and fix it. Thank you, Mr. Man. Here we go. Thank you, Mr. Man. You were right, the clock is broken. Can you fix it? Or, you can fix it, right? Of course, just a second. Okay. <laughs> um, yes. Hmm, oh there. What is it? It seems that somebody was playing a dirty game around this clock. What do you mean? 
I mean, somebody broke it. It's immoral, breaking a defenseless clock. Ah! <laughs> he has a, a funny walk. He does. He does indeed. Why would someone break it? Kamalus, winter, um, Mount, Mount Cotrum, the stones, many reasons, miss. Oh, what are you talking about? I don't understand. Kamalus, the evil darkness, they work with, um, they work for Ramur, the terrible black. And Kamalus are the only ones allowed into this land. Um, the only, the only evil we have around. It wouldn't surprise me, Rimmer wants the stones, but what I don't understand is for what purpose? Those, sto those stones are meaningless for him and his kingdom. And the stones are in wintertime. Is Remmer a giant black monster with a goat mask? A dead goat mask? Yes, you know him? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, yes, I think it's because of him I'm in this land. I'm a human, you know. Oh, a human, now I understand. I also need the stones. They are my way back home. I hope it's not too late. That's why you need to go into wintertime and go to Mount Cotrim. Yes, exactly! I have to talk to the Great Wizard and borrow the stones. Well, it's fixed now. I'll give you something that will make it easier for you. Here! Ayo! Thank you, Mr. Man! It's a remote to control- Um, it's a remote control for the clock. You'll be able to travel into all four seasons in just a quick turn. But it's just a prototype, so it may not work if you're too far away. And remember, time is an infinite layer, is an infinite layered reality. So be careful. I'll be careful. Thank you very much. You are a very kind. You're a very nice clockmaker. Clock, clockmaker guy. My goodness, I can't read. <laughs> Please call me Cogwind. Um. All right, Mister Cogwind. Uh, Cogwind. I'm Fran, by the way. Um. See you soon. Bye. Okay. So. I will be right back, guys. Just a moment. Just a quick moment. Um, in the meantime, I am going to mute the game as soon as I am able to. Sound. Um, volume mixer. I do the good. I love that. I do the good. We're gonna do that, and then we're gonna go here, and then we're gonna go... Where's Soft Fuzzy Man? Where is Soft Fuzzy Man? Where's the song Soft Fuzzy Man? It works so well with this game. I'm sorry. There it is! Alright, I will be right back, gamers. Everyone stay calm. Street Mode will be right back.
I'm back, gamers! I'm so sorry about that. I'm so sorry about that. Hello. Hello. While I was while I was gone, I was talking to Mama Fruit and I told her about your guys' funny idea of the um fruits with um with uh, the fruits for like different emotions. And um <laughs> She said, angry fruit should be something sour and ugly, like a grapefruit. And I just thought that that was really funny. And then, for reasons that I can't say, because it's a long story, my ex is associated with kiwis. I will not explain any further. He's just associated with kiwis. And so I looked at my mom, and then I said, angry fruit should be kiwis. And we just both... <laughs> Had this menacing laugh to ourselves, and it was beautiful. Anyways, anyways, how how is everyone? How's everyone doing? What happened while I was gone? Yes, funky emote, funky emote indeed. Yo, we're a bunch of pirates. I'm gonna skip this one. Uh, funky emotes indeed. Yes, that one was made by Saru. I love it very very much. Thank you for the hydrate, Colin. I appreciate you. Um, Xylee left. Bye 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 buddy. Um, uh, what's everyone's favorite animal? I don't have a favorite animal. I like all animals. It's hard to choose. They're just all so fluffy and I love them. Um, Xylik like dog. Um, you unlocked another emote. Let's go. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Oh no, world went to go brush their teeth. It wasn't Xylik. I'm big brain. I'm big brain. I'm big brain. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm terrible streamer. I'm terrible streamer. I'm so sorry. Um, anywho's, let's let's go back to game. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I love sharks. Sharks scare me. But I like that you like them. Mr. Midnight, don't fall asleep. Friend, we should find the wizard on the mountain in the winter time. Okay. Okay. Let's change it. That. Okay. There we go. Cool. Okay. What's this way? We found a ladder. I don't have any need to climb that ladder. Okay, let's go this way. Okay. What about uh, this way? No bad, you're not terrible. We all make mistakes. Okay, thank you. We found him. We found him, gamers. We found the wizard. Hello, Mr. Man. Oh, are you the great wizard, sir? Can we, can we talk? Are you? Because if you are, we need your help. Should I go? You have too many questions. That's good. The king said you'd help. What the king says, we do. I need to borrow the stones. The stones are missing and I, I don't remember where they are. Oh. Every time they seek, I hide. Every time I hide, I forget. So they can't be found. I'll be find them. I just want to know the biggest answer of them all. How does the rabbit do it? I saw it once, a human did it. The rabbit came from an empty hat. How, this is the greatest question of them all. 
Oh my, that wizard is funky look looking. He do be funky looking. Because if nothing exists, then the nothing exists. And if the nothing exists, then there is no nothing. I wonder again, how? Ask the person who did it. Or I need the stones. Let, let's, let's just do this. I feel bad for delaying from him. Oh, I have a visitor. Good day. What brings you to the great wizard? That means me, just so you know. Okay. The king sent me. Um, the stones. Ah, it's been a long time since somebody came around asking for those. I made the most fantastic spell of all time so nobody could find them. You know the black shadows, the Kamalas? Um, they, they tried to steal them all the time. So I have to be sure. I need the stones to go home. The stones are hiding. I only remember the four riddles that are connected to them. The four riddles that will unlock my memory. Only then all four riddles are only when all four riddles are answered correctly. I will be able to tell you where to find five find five items. These items are the stones in their layered reality. Okay. Thank you for the hydrate, Haley. I appreciate you. Hello. Hello. We are playing Franbo. Tis a very heavy game, so please, please be careful. Lots of triggering topics. Uh, exclamation point TW. Uh, take care of yourself. But hello. Hello. How are you doing? Hello, hello. Sippy, sippy. I know. Sippy, sippy. Thank you for the hydrate. I appreciate you. This is the game that, um, Mr. Midnight is based off of. He, he, there he is. He's a little guy. He's a little lad. I love him. He's so cute. We rescued him last stream and he's great. I slept like 16 hours and I'm struggling to not sleep more. That is such a mood. <laughs> you are so valid for that. You are incredibly valid for that. I know I love this game. Me too. It's so cute. It's like, it's a creepy cute, but it's cute. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I should not cross my legs because every time I do, um, I accidentally turn off my computer and, um, I'm kind of streaming at the moment, so let's not do that. Um, today just seems to be the day I watch all the streamers you made me follow. <laughs> that should be every day. Yes. Yes, it should. <laughs> um, these items are the stones in their, real in their layered reality. Um, then the only one who can bring them back is me. Um... Okay, uh, tell me the riddles. I got this. I can't, there's too many spoken. Pick a favorite. <laughs> um, let me show you. Okay. I need a hundred different phones and computers. Do it. Do it. I picked my favorite. <laughs> Um, alright gamers, I'm gonna go to sleep, have fun. Bye Phantom, get a good night's sleep. Good night. It's Sleepy and Fruit. Oh, Xylee, you're too nice to me. We know, we know, it's, <laughs> it's Bryce, your comfort streamer. <laughs> we love picking on Xylee with, with, bye, bye Phantom, get a good night's sleep. We love and appreciate you. We love picking on Xyleek with compliments and telling them who their comfort streamer is. That's just- that's just how it be. That's just how it be. This is the star of Ithera. You see, remember yesterday when I told you that- that the pentagram that they said was a pentagram is actually a pentacle? Because it's a pentagram and a circle together? This is a pentagram! This is a pentagram! I'm sorry! I know! The, the witchy bitch is talking again, but, but, but hear me out, okay? Everyone thinks that the star with the circle in it is a pentagram. No, the star itself is the pentagram. The, when it's inside a circle, it becomes a pentacle. 
That's why it's called a pentacle, because it's literally the combination of the word pentagram and circle. It is not that hard! And everyone gets it wrong! <laughs> I'll shut up now, but I'm just saying, this is a pentagram! Not the thing that we did for the, with, the, with the girls in the ritual. That is a pentacle. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Y'all are bullies, I know, but we do it out of love. <laughs> the greatest guide of the sky. The greatest caretaker of the land. Where are the riddles? I'll give you the four riddles written down in the language of everything. The answer is always one item. Place the items on the star of Ithersta on their respective symbol. And after that, I'll be able to tell you where the stones are. <laughs> what I'm hearing is I need to purposely mix them up so witchy fruit can come out. Witchy fruit will come out any day of the week. Y'all just, just, just ask and witchy fruit will be there. But if you, if you get those two mixed up, angry witchy fruit will come out. And that's a completely different fruit. That is, that is, that is a completely different fruit. Um, I totally didn't just remember that I was going to play a game with my friend earlier and I forgot. Oh no, Colin! Oh no, it's okay, it's okay, Colin. It's okay. You can message them and you can say you can blame me. You can message them and say this 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 little nerd distracted me. You can blame me. It's okay. I'll take the fall for it. It's okay. Witchy fruit is the grape angry fruit. <laughs> I love this so much. I love that inside joke that you guys have created. That's so cute. I love that. <laughs> Completely different things. Okay, you know what? I need to keep track of what each fruit means. I- I- because we're- we are making lore right now. We are making lore gamers. We are making an inside joke lore thing in the chat and I'm li I'm here for it. So, here we go. We have... Grape? Fruit. Grapefruit is the angry fruit. And then grape is is witchy fruit. Yes. We got a kiwi and an apple. That's right. That's right. Kiwi is is also Angie. Because kiwi is associated with fruits X and therefore we do not like kiwi in this community. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Kiwi can be discussed. You right, you right, Jay. Jay actually knows who I'm talking about. Jay had the displeasure of meeting this person. <laughs> Discuss. I think Apple was Pog. Apple is Pog. This is so funny. <laughs> it'll be it'll be forever um, until I'm actually able to add those as emotes. But I think that'd be really funny. I think that's I think that's hilarious. I love that. That's so funny. Um, and after that, I will be able to tell you where the stones are. Okay. Let me know if if there's another <laughs> through emotion that I forgot. <laughs> Haley, if you're still here for context, we have a, we have a little we have a little joke now in the chat because I asked them what other emotes they wanted and they said you should assign a fruit to each emotion and then just have that as an emote. So angry fruit is just a grapefruit, <laughs> and then grape is just witchy fruit, and then kiwi is just <laughs> and then and then Haley also knows a little bit about. Um, said X. She never met him, but she she knows who I'm talking about. Yup. Kiwi. 
they are associated with kiwi so they are disgust <laughs> kiwi is disgust thank you very much sir wizard all right back to the game i'm so sorry guys i just think that that joke is really funny um the king told me that you can make me human again did he hmm i think that's true i barely remember how to do it though i didn't think i would ever be trying to think of what fruits would be what emotion actually what's funny about this is in witchcraft um you can use the, there's like different correspondences um to each fruit so like they're ex they're actually technically associated with different emotions if you try hard enough like apple is very associated with love so i think it's really funny <laughs> <laughs> that we've like completely scuffed it and it's like no apple is pog um <laughs> that's just that's that's funny i love that i love that for us um you don't remember how to make me a human um i can't go home looking like a tree What's love? I only know Pog. <laughs> I love you guys so much. What's love? I only know Pog. I. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you don't remember, but I can't go home like a tree. I understand, but I can't help you right now. I have to recover some of my knowledge. Perhaps we can try to make you human after you find the first stone. What? Someone proposes the person being proposed. Oh. Uh, oh! Oh! Proposes the person being proposed to. Pogface. I see. I see. Yes, yes. Of course. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Um, perhaps we can try, um, to make you a human again after you find the first stone. Oh, that would be incredible. Yes, incredible and great. Just try to figure out the riddles and I get, and I guess everything will be fine. Do I need something special to become a human? I think the smell is very important if I remember correctly. So bring me your clothes and we will see how it goes. Explain the riddles. Can you explain the riddles again? I forgot what to do. Just place the correct answers in the correct spots on the start. Okay, okay, okay. I can explain more to you. Now the rabbit science is waiting for me. <laughs> Okay, while I have this written down, I also want to know what emotes you guys said that you wanted. I need to remind myself. Let me, let me see. Okay, um. Angy fruit. Confused. And then all of the fruits with their corresponding. <laughs> yes, yes, okay, cool. Cool, we got this, we got this guys. All right, now let's get to gaming. Let's look at this, this, this thing we have here. Examine, okay. I'm cold as I am, but if you use me, I'll be burning hard. Okay, that is up here. I'm shiny as the sun, but I'll never burn you. Perhaps a sour smile I'll give you. I think that's a lemon. I think. Flow, flow, cold-blooded sun. Let your body dance through the rising stream. That's a fish. We saw fish earlier. Um, light and hollow. I'm the freedom of birds and the pen of men. That one I have no clue. 
Um, if you have any ideas, feel free to suggest it. But if you've played the game before, don't give me answers, if that makes sense. Oh, hello there. Oh! Oh! Oh, kitty, did you see that? Did you? Yes, my dear, I saw it. What was it? I think it's the shadows. Oh, dear, I don't want to see them again. Again? Yes, kitty, they are all over the place in the hospital. I want to go home. I haven't played, so time to try and figure it out. Cool beans. Um, we will go home soon, my dear. Kitty, can you make me a promise that whatever happens, you and I will always be on the same side? Of course, my- Of course, my dear, I promise. Great, now we have to keep going. Okay. I want to see what season it needs to be to talk to this guy. None of them work. Okay, cool. Sweet. Um, I know we need fishies. I know we need a fishy. I know we need a fishy very badly. Oh, hello. Hello. Good day, living creature. All good? Um, what are you doing? Yes, I'm fine. What are you doing? I'm smelling this flower. Beautiful creation. Hmm. Are you waiting for somebody? I'm waiting for the lemons to grow. I knew there were lemons. Too sour for my taste. But lemonade is yummy. I had lemonade earlier today. It was strawberry lemonade. It was very good. Lemonade is what I do with the lemons um, for the customers of the bar, you know? And we put um, some other stuff inside too, so we can fly. That sounds really cool, actually. Um, yeah, that is wh um, why I wait. You can, uh, you can't rush it. Hey, the bar opens in fall and a very awesome dancer will perform. You should come and hang out. Maybe I will. Um, it sounds fun. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so it needs to be summer so that we can get the lemons. Sir, can I have one of your lemons? I'm sorry, lovely. The lemon resources are quite limited. I can't just... I can't let you take them. I take all the lemons... Um... I take all the lemons the basket can carry. That means all the lemons from the tree. Well, that's not nice. Um... I will follow you then. I want inside. Good day, little lady. Can you show me your ticket, please? Um, I don't have one. How do I get one? What? All, all a thirst of citizens get a ticket. Why don't you have yours? I'm not a citizen. Maybe that's why. Not a citizen. That's new. Um, too, too new for me though. Sorry, little lady. I can't let you in. Um. What to do then? Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, this never happened before. Hmm, I guess I'll have to find my own way to get inside. Thank you, bye. I can figure this out. Hi. What are you? You look like the fairies in my books. The purest of feelings, the light of all material. We are Balokas. Oh, you are very shiny, and you make me feel so happy. So very happy. Look, creature, one of the young Velokas will receive the shield. I don't know how to read that. Soldier of the sun, creature of the soil, fruit from the seed. Hello, welcome back. Welcome back, world. 
Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Um, let the universe illuminate you with the truth and be free. Where are you all going? We continue our path to life. My, may freedom be with you, my friend. Sir, or miss, um, can you do magical things? You, the universe is already doing magic all the time. You are full of magic yourself. But I wish to know things, and it's odd. I feel like you know everything. We are the light. We are everywhere. What answers are you looking for? I want to know who killed my parents, and why that big monster is hunting me. The truth will come to those who seek. Your path towards truth is immense. You are living in a world that turns its back, that turns its back on you. You are too fragile to face the truth just now, and too strong to let it go. But... Dear, don't be sad. We have to keep going. Yes, Kitty, you're right. Oh. Okay. I don't know what this does. Okay, we'll play with that later. Okay, I don't know how to sneak inside yet, but I think we can figure that out later. Maybe if you move it so you can step on it? Oh, that'd be smart. Wait, don't go. Oh no, he looked really bad, kitty. Wasn't that the doctor? Maybe he can cure himself. I hope so, kitty. He was so hurt and he lost his feather. I wonder what happened. I think the answer to one of the riddles is a feather. Yeah, that's the Axel friend. We love him. We love him very dearly. Let me try that. Okay. Nope. Yeah, I can't stand on it. It's not real though. I wonder what they use it for. It has four arms. Maybe the Great Velocas has four arms. Okay. I don't have any need to climb that ladder. Let's go this way. What's this way? Okay. And we need the fish, too. So let's get the fish. Oh, so many fish. They seem to be hungry. Where are they going? Are you going somewhere? I wish I could go home, too. Oh. I think I need a fishing rod in order to get the fish. Okay, well, I strained for 30 minutes longer than I meant to. So I think we are going to end it off here, gamers. Woo. Ugh, sorry. Um, but yeah, thank you for, for joining me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for leaving you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, but, but it was a lot of fun today. Uh, don't go anywhere just yet. I will be raiding somebody. Time to sleep. Yes, you, you all deserve some sleep. You all deserve some sleep. But if you aren't going to sleep, we are going to be finding somebody to raid. Let's find someone to raid, shall we? Uh, thank you guys for stopping by. Um, 
no stream tomorrow. No stream tomorrow. I um, am unfortunately... Time to go to next streamer depending on who the raid is. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. So, um, unfortunately, because I um, am back in college, um, I will not be streaming on Mondays and Wednesdays. So, no stream tomorrow, but there will be a stream on Tuesday. Um, I don't know what I'm playing yet. I will either be playing this game or I will be playing um, a game called Little Witch in the Woods, which is a really cute and wholesome game. Um, for those of you who aren't are feeling a little on edge because of this game like I feel like I feel like it's nice to have like a more calm chill game in between While we're playing this game so that way we can all decompress and and like breathe Well, and, and take a break from the horror games if it gets a little too much because this game is really intense, you know um, There's also another horror game uh, called Mad Father that I've been wanting to play. It's an older one, uh, and I don't know anything about it. So, um, that might be fun. Um, Mr. Midnight thought's supposed to be here. You know what? We'll, we'll let him say. Um, what else? Um, I'm still trying to figure out my streaming schedule, so, um, I know I, I, I'm, it might be a little rocky for the next couple weeks, I know for a fact I will not be streaming on Mondays and or Mondays and Wednesdays, but I will be streaming on Saturdays, Sundays, and Tuesdays. So, um, Friday is still up in the air. <laughs> Friday, Friday, we don't know. Friday's confusing. Um, I'm assuming if I do if I do stream on Friday, it would be at a different time than I usually do. So there's your update on my stream schedule. Um, and there's there's that for you. Anyways. I'm done babbling. Uh, thank you guys for um, vibing with me tonight. No stream tomorrow, but there will be a stream Tuesday. Um, if you let, if you're new here and you like my face um, or my content or my personality or you just want a cool place to vibe, we have a Discord. We have a Discord, and I want to be more active on it. I want to talk with you guys more. I want to like, I want to like, send you guys pictures of some of the stuff that I do in in my day like i might send you guys some pictures from my school if i do something entertaining because i'm doing two art classes so that's that's pretty pog um yeah uh that that that, that might be fun to share um we love uh, we we love all of fruit oh you guys are so cute <laughs> thank you Alrighty, alrighty. let's find out who we should raid let's let's find someone to raid shall we Let's just find a little buddy to send you guys fruit, best fruit. Oh, you guys. Okay, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's have a full circle moment together, right? Let's have a full, let's have a full circle moment, right? Right, I'm, pa I'm like stopping the sound for this. Full circle moment, okay? I'm gonna be real with y'all. Tom raided me yesterday. And I, I'm sure you could tell that it caught me off guard. I've never had that many people in my chat before. It made my freaking day. Let's raid him. As a little thank you. A little thank you raid. A little, little, like, head pat of appreciation for, for, for Tom. Does that sound, does that sound fair? We can all raid him with our little raid emotes and say, fruit raid. And the, and be like, be like, head pats for Tom. Head pats of appreciation. Does that sound good? You guys want to do that? Does that sound fun? I think that sounds fun. We're going to do that. So, let me find a, a goodbye song. Here, we'll roll, with, we'll roll with redesign your logo as a goodbye song. Anyways, you guys know the raid emotes, right? You know what to do? Good night, everyone. All right, all right. You guys are ready. You guys are ready. Let's raid Sol Drake. Yes, I spelled that right. I want to see all of you in that raid. I want to see all of you. I know we're missing a couple. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. Again, no stream tomorrow, but there will be one on Tuesday. Thank you guys for vibing with me. I appreciate you very, very much. Um, yes. <laughs> um, if, again, if you want to vibe in the community and be more involved in, I, I, I want to be, I want to, I want to interact with you guys more. So, um, cool pictures hopefully coming soon from the fruit. Uh, cause I'm an art major, and so I think that'd be fun to show you guys some of my art. Anyways, um, I will send you guys off now. Um, yeah. 
Bye. Oh, socials as well. Hooray! Yes. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Remember, raid raid message is, is fruit raid and head pass of appreciation. There you go. There you go. There you go. You know what to do. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. And hello, VOD watchers. I appreciate you. I hope you're doing well.